So nowadays consumers have various different ways of expressing uh, what they would like to have. Um, for instance, when they would like to order food in a restaurant, they would do this by speaking to a waiter or waitress. So they express their decisions by speaking, by saying it out loud. Um, at a vending machine, for instance, or at a drive through they express whatever they would like to have by pushing a button. And in our research, we compare these different ways of expressing your decision, speaking to manual modalities such as button pressing, and we find that it matters, it makes a difference. People that speak are uh, choosing options that are more indulgent, so that are unhealthier than those individuals that would push a button. When I say more indulgent, for instance, when individuals choose between chocolate cake and fruit salad, they would go for the chocolate cake when they speak, or they would choose a snack that is higher in calorie content. How do you test this? So we tested this in a bunch of different studies. Our first study was at a restaurant and we asked all diners that didn't order dessert whether they would like to participate in a free dessert tasting study. And if they agreed, our waitress would walk with them to a separate room and on the, room, uh, on the way to the room uh, give them some information and tell them that they would choose between two different desserts and she would tell them how to do this. And here comes the trick. Half of our participants we would tell that they have to say whether they want option A or option B, uh, chocolate mousse or fruit salad. The other half we would tell that they have to push a little button that was positioned in front of these options. And we would tell them that this button records how many people choose each of the options. This was not completely true because actually we used these simple doorbells here. I bought them in a do-it-yourself supermarket and they didn't do anything. But for us it was perfect because we could compare the influence of speaking to button pressing, keeping all else constant. And we find that individuals that speak were more likely to choose the unhealthy option, the chocolate mousse. Um, Compared to those that pushed the button, they were more likely to choose the fruit salad. So normatively speaking, we would say there shouldn't be a difference because there's nothing that changes about the chocolate mousse or the fruit salad as a consequence of whether you express this decision by speaking or button pressing. And it took us some time to figure out why this could be happening. And we think that these different expression modalities trigger different ways of making your decision. When you speak, you seem to decide very spontaneously. You seem to follow your intuition and go for something you really like. While when you push a button, when you engage in a motoric movement, um, you seem to be a little bit more reflective. You seem to consider what is good for you to choose. And um, we base our argumentation, for instance, on research um, in neuroscientific evidence that shows that there are different brain regions that are activated depending on how we make our decision. And there seems to be more cognition, more thinking when you engage in motoric movements. And when we choose, we all know this, between chocolate mousse, chocolate cake and fruit salad, well, the chocolate cake or the chocolate mousse is desirable. That's what we want. Only after really carefully considering that it was just Christmas, that we should eat healthier, we might go for the fruit salad. And that's our explanation for why speaking results in more indulgent and less healthy choices. So we think that it has very important practical consequences. First of all, because nowadays we have various different ways of expressing our decisions in various different contexts. And there are many situations in which, um, for instance, restaurants switch from one modality to another one. We used to express our decisions in restaurants by speaking. Now there are many restaurants that already offer you an iPad um, or a self-check-in. And there you nowadays push a button. And our research would suggest that actually if we want people to make healthier choices, it would be better to let them express their decision manually by taking an option or by pushing a button compared to speaking. Mm -hmm.